Let us look to the cross and be filled with peace, knowing that Christ has walked this road and walks it now with us and with all our brothers and sisters. St. Therese of Avila said that. They didn't understand that he spoke to them about the Father. John 8, 27. Lift up on the cross. From the book, Breaking the Bread of the Word, series number eight by Sister Mary Margaret Tepeng. First reading, and it's based, this reflection is based on Numbers 21, 49. The lifting up of the bronze serpent that we hear in the Old Testament reading is fascinating and it illuminates the mystery of the cross that we venerate as Christians. The bronze serpent on the pole that brings healing to the bitten by Benamus or Seraph snakes is a symbol of God's benevolent, benevolence, saving will. Yes, Jesus Jesus, like the serpent, is lifted up on the pole of the cross, and whoever looks to him in faith will be saved. This is the triumph of the cross. Indeed, in the light of the joyful Easter event of Christ's resurrection, the cross becomes a throne of glory. The following story illustrates the participation of Christ's disciples in the mystery and triumph of the cross. Sail with the wind of grace, Peter Kiev and 187 Martyrs, written and edited by Martyrs Editorial Committee, Tokyo Don Bosco, 2008, page 44-46. Genka's daughter Maria was married to the son of Kondo Kisan, the commissioner of Tatsura, Hirado City, Nagasaki Prefecture, Kondo was a devout Buddhist. Buddhist. He tried to convert his daughter-in-law and make her give up her faith. Maria always responded with the same words. I was baptized by my father and have always walked the way of God that was taught to me. I cannot give up my faith. If you do not renounce your faith, we cannot keep you in our household. Think well and choose either my son or your faith. Kondo oppressed Maria with these harsh words. After two years of struggling with the situation, Maria told her husband of her decision and returned to, to her father, Genka, in the, in the must be Genka, who encouraged her to leave. He must pay for this. Kondo discussed the matter with his friend, a Buddhist monk in Hirado, and appealed to Shingo, Shing, Shingonobu to punish Genka. To punish Genka. Shinokubu was furious with Genka, who do not only disobey his orders and continue to practice his faith, but also worked as a Christian leader. Shingenobu ordered the execution of Genka together with his wife, Ursula, and their eldest son, John Mataichi. Genka w was handed over to the commissioner of Yamada, Hirado City, Nagasaki, Prefecture. In Inoue Umanojo <clears throat> to be executed on the 14th November 1609. Genka was a friend a friend who for Genka was a friend for whom he had great respect. Genka told him of his only wish, Lord. Inoue, could you do me a favor and perform my execution at the Kurasu Cross or Cross Trail? Why? The Kurusu Trail? Once a cross stood there, and my parents and friends are buried there too. Umanojo, Umanojo nodded, and they started to walk toward the Kurusu Trail. 
When they arrived at the spot, Genko said to Umanojo, Lord, <clears throat> Lord Inoue, it was, it was my heart desire to offer my life here. Now, none of this is your fault. Please be at peace. Genka knelt down, raised his tied hands toward heaven, and silently bowed his head. Omanojo, choking down his tears, performed the execution with one stroke of his sword so that Genka would not suffer too much. Genka's wife, Ursula, and their son, John Mataichi, were also beheaded about the same time at a place nearby. Gaspar Nishi Genka and his wife Ursula were both 54 years old. Their oldest son, John Mataichi, was 24 years old. Their remains were buried at the Caruso Trail. The Christians secretly planted a pine tree on the spot. In 1992, the Christians of Ikitsuki built a large cross on the Kurusu Trail. It is to remind them of the importance of faith strengthened in the family, a precious heritage of Gaspar Nishi Genka. Second reading, John, based in this reflection, goes along with eight, uh, the Gospel of John 8.21.30. In rescuing and forgiving the adulterous woman, Jesus probes himself to be the light of the, wor of the world. For light is a principle of life and not of death, but only those who believe in him knows his, this truth. The spiritual blindness of self-righteousness, Pharisees, is a serious bondage that prevents them from being freed. If only they would turn to Jesus to save them before it is too late. Ironically, it is only when they have crucified Jesus and lift up the Son of Man that the truth about Jesus' Savior would be radically revealed. His crucifixion and glorification would serve as a definite proof of his claim to be a light of the world. Oh, if only they would believe. Kathy Bloom gives us an example of what it means to believe and to welcome Jesus as a Savior. <clears throat> I am here for you. In 101 Inspirational Stories of Reconciliation by Sister Patricia Proctor, Franciscan Missionary of St. Clair, 2006, page 210 to 211. Now she is from feeling, feelings of fear, depression, loneliness, and betrayal. I sat alone in the church, 300 miles from where I used to call home. How did I reach this point at the age of 55? I was now divorced for the second time and I had moved to be near my daughter, <clears throat> leaving be behind my family and longtime friends. I felt so alone. I had been betrayed and that left a pit in my stomach and a pain in my heart. I wonder if I would ever be free of ache. I was early for mass sitting in a back pew seeing nothing but darkness and shadows slowly the lights illuminated the church as time for mass was approaching the church was now bright and i looked up my eyes going straight to the image of the risen christ on the cross behind the altar suddenly i felt jesus say to me let me hold you in my arms i am here for you It will be okay. His outstretched, welcoming arms beckoned me. He was there for me, and I was not alone. My heart stopped aching, but I was still un unsure of what to do next with my life and unsure what could be salvaged. My answer came during the Our Father As I pray, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I heard the words deep in my soul. I knew I needed to go to confession and that I needed the sacrament of reconcil reconciliation to renew my life. 
as I left the mass, I felt this was something I could actually do to help the way I was feeling and to get back on the right track of life. There are no words to describe the internal feeling that comes over me when I think of that special moment of spiritual rebirth. Are we eager to fix our gaze on Jesus Christ crucified and glorified and seek healing from him? Prayer. Lord Jesus, the mounted bronze serpent that saved the ancient Israelites from your death prefigures your crucifixion and redeeming death at Mount Calvary. Now, in faith, we look upon the cross of your sacrifice and see it and see in it the source of healing and the font of eternal life. Heal us and save us, O loving Jesus. Amen. Contemplative Prayer The following is the bread of the living word that will nourish us throughout the day. Please memorize it. When you lift up the Son of Man, when you, when you will realize that I am. John 8.27 they didn't understand that he spoke to them about the Father. Action. By your compassion and charity, allow the suffering ones to experience the healing and saving love of Christ on the cross. And, then, and on the next story, I will talk about in a nice reflection about the truth that sets us free. Who can set us free? Jesus is the only one. And let's not forget, when we feel down, when we feel like nobody understands, let us look to the cross and be filled with peace, knowing that, that Christ has walked this road and walks it now with us and with all our brothers and sisters. That's what St. Teresa of Avila said. So, my friends, I can't wait to see you tomorrow for another reflection. May the Lord bless you and those who you love. Please continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you. And thank you to those of you that have subscribed and are sharing. And please share. By sharing, you're giving hope to someone that might be feeling lonely to someone that is in their 50s. And they feel like the lady in the story. And remember, our job as Christians, is, as Christians, Catholics, is to evangelize. And you become a digital man or woman who is evangelizing. May the Lord bless you and those who you love.